This is the conclusion of our three-part series of a young man that's 28 years old with vertigo and low back pain that's flown all the way from Minnesota. In this video, you'll see a journey of a young man going up and down and up again. We're going to see how he does in the very beginning to the very end. You're going to see his whole journey and it's going to take you for a ride. I hope you enjoy it. So let's jump right in. So my name is Fahad and I'm 28 and I do uh, software engineering, mainly vertigo and lower back pain. Gotcha. And the vertigo has been going on for how long? For about four years. Well, it's kind of affecting my job, so I can't really work properly. Um, I have to actually sometimes lay in bed and work. I feel this sometimes while I'm sleeping. I was kind of going out. I just I'm always home because you know I just feel like I'm about to pass out. To be okay. So tell us about your low back pain. How does that uh, affect your life? What is that going on there? Um, well, I can't sleep because because it's bad too. It has hurts. So I just like, sometimes sleep in my stomach. And so you've tried to optimize your workstation. So, and he's had lots of people. He probably has gone down and probably spent a lot of money on this. Yep. And probably got done a lot of YouTube videos because he's like, this is my job, right? Yep. And but no help. Um, he has a radical constipation. Uh, only goes once or twice a week. And he has to like force it to go. Frequent urination when he sleeps. He wakes up all the time. Yep. He has heartburn twice a month. He has anxiety, really bad anxiety for his whole life. Depression has set in the last um, four five years. years, four or five years four since he started years. working. Yeah. And so that's twice a month, he says. And so you tried chiropractors. I wonder about the chiropractors. Oh, and it is terrible. <laughs> gotcha. What do they do for you there? I mean, mainly they just do the same, you know, method, just, you know, lay you down and they just crack everything. Gotcha. And they shouldn't take like two minutes. And so he went to New York when he was back in New York and he went to a Gonset guy. So apparently <laughs> he met you before and, you know, like he didn't like your personality. Like he thought you were a little arrogant. Um, so. <laughs> Kind of help, like you know, kind of reduce the pain from eight to four. Gotcha. Um, but still there, I do feel it sometimes. So it's not really clear completely. Yeah. And I still have the dizziness because I went for the dizziness and it did. All right. Oh my gosh, yes. Any back pain? Back there, yeah. gotcha. This one? Just a tiny bit. Gotcha. I'm pushing your neck now, tell me what you feel. Okay. More here oh my or more here? Oh. Left. 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 Let me know if you feel a difference between one side or the other. Okay. Now that we took them, let's take a look. 11 millimeter right imbalance and 12 millimeter lower right shoulder. Here we have a 10 degree spinal curvature, 5 millimeter right short leg. Here we have high neck reversal, pretty good one, and a one third atlas wear. Here we have slight sway back, but really significant constipation. Okay, week two, uh, Monday, first visit. Um, Fahad's having some issues with uh, getting the stuff to hold. And so why don't you tell us what happened on Friday when you left? Um, we had a little vertigo uh, walking around the building. Um, uh, it wasn't like how I used to, but it was just like a little minor vertigo. Saturday and Sunday, no vertigo, but I had a little lower back Low pain. Back pain. And so all these are issues of him trying to overcompensate. How excited are you for this new Atlas adjustment? Have I pumped you up about it? Oh yeah, it just made me more anxious. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just come this way. Under the ear. Under the ear, exactly. Under the ear, over the hill, through the woods we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, make sure you see his face, Ace, because <laughs> He's gonna freak the fuck out. In a oh second. man! <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm, done. I'm not out of here. Yeah, sorry. Like I said, these are the fringe benefits. There's not many, but this is one of them. Right. <laughs> okay. So we'll take our time. All right. Right here. Good. Like that. so that's the atlas right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right here. Good. <sighs> How is that different than the other adjustments? Um, I can hit my brain. <laughs> you can feel it definitely yeah, up in yeah, your brain, yeah. right? Oh, man. Yeah. His atlas is hidden right underneath, right there, right underneath his mastoid process, which I talk about in my videos all the time. Oh, yeah. And so you have to kind of slide off the brain, not off the brain, off the skull, because he has no brains. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wow. My headache. When he starts to fall, I'll catch him. Oh, yeah. Definitely different, huh? Oh, yeah.
Yeah, we really rock Farhad's world with that Atlas adjustment. So he's a little dizzy. Uh, that's to be expected. So we're going to recalibrate by having him walk down the hall and see how he does here. I think he's going to be doing better. How does this feel different, though? Um, more aware. More aware of what? Like the surrounding. Surrounding? Yeah, more than the first day. And really, really why? I'm kind of curious why you say that. What do you mean, where are the surroundings? It's kind of interesting. Like, you feel like you're just free walking, you know? Like, like oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Like, there's no understanding of what's going on. You're just like in your head. Interesting. Okay, that's there's now more, you know, more focused, I would say. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't expecting that answer, but that's, I mean, that can happen. That's absolutely true. Which is great because I've been, you know, having problems with that. But after this, I feel like I'm, you know, I see this guy filming and you're here, you know what I mean? Rather than I'm in my head and you're just talking. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. good. Been great. Um, been feeling great. Uh, more calmer. Um, no vertigo. Uh, no pain. Just more relaxed and more looser. Yeah. As you said to me a few minutes ago, he goes, it feels like the first day. Yeah, yeah, which is great. That's why yeah, yeah, I get yeah. back to feel great. Perfect. Um, tell us about what you just learned right now. <clears throat> um, uh, well, it's, you know, I didn't learn it, but I just, you know, um, relearn it, which is you know, how to walk, have a better posture, and uh, kind of go from there. Good. Good. So I'm gonna go up a little bit higher in here. I feel like the atlas, I'm just gonna, in the direction of pushing. I'm gonna push a little higher. There we go. <clears throat> this is more deeper than the other one. Exactly, your atlas is kind of up under your skull here, a little bit more, a little more hidden. So you're gonna get up into it more here. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, this is too sharp. Different, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The sharpest of all. Sharpest? You mean sharpest pain-wise? Yeah. Well... Interesting. And more precise than... More precise. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Overview of your experience here first, and we'll get into specific questions in a second. Sounds good. Well, it was a journey. Um, the I started off good. I mean, the first day was great. And then um, down the road, you know, I started having ups and downs. Um, and then, like, towards the end, it kind of spiked up back again, and uh, been feeling great, been having good sleep. Um, no spiked vertigo. up good or spiked up oh, bad? great, no great, okay, gotcha. I'm back up great, yeah. Um, so no vertigo, um, I feel great overall, no pain. You started uh, with vertigo in January, so it's been uh, six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, you had it the whole time, right? Almost, yeah, the whole time. Yeah, and so how much better are you now? Um, I just don't have it anymore, it's gone. Yeah. How's your sleep? Anxiety, depression? All gone. Right? You said you said the anxiety is a lot more easy to manage. Um, I mean, now it's like I just don't feel anxious. I used to feel anxious all the time. Um, now I just don't feel as much. Um, it's almost gone, um, which is weird because you know I. Used to How long been suffering with that? Oh, for years, man. But yeah. this year I've been you know more pronounced. Went down from feeling like you're about to die, you're about to pass out, to just feel normal. You know, you just don't think of it because it yeah. just comes to your head and then. Start you know um, activating and you start feeling dizzy and start feeling you know interesting yeah and now it's neck pain, low back pain, none of that it's all gone. Constipation talk two times a week. You've been here over you've been out ten days. Um, here. it went from like eight to three, so now I almost have have it daily because I used to you know drink coffee and coffee used to help me out with it. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no more coffee, so it became a little difficult. Yeah, and how has it been the last couple of days? Uh, I've been going almost regularly. Almost yeah. regularly now? Yeah, yeah. Headaches in, I don't know if that... You, yeah, you know, I used to have headaches. headaches. Yeah, a little yeah. bit, right? Uh, left shoulder? Um, uh, it went from like 8 till 2, so now it's more of a soreness. How about carpal tunnel? You had a little bit of numbness or thinking in your hand, or what was yeah, that, left one? Yeah, left. Frequent urination? Um, it's gone, because I used to wake up... Um, like two, three times a to go pee. A night, yeah. Bladder yeah. strong like bull. Sure. <laughs> uh, we had five different chiropractors in the last two years, right, or something like that. Yeah. Um, tell us what the difference between this and all that. I mean, you already talked about it a little bit, but at the end now, what is it like? So, I mean, with them, um, you kind of get like not instant relief, but like more of um, like you feel a little better, and then as soon as you start walking out, and this pain starts, you know, coming back. And so it's not steady. You just get it, you know, for, for the same day, and then tomorrow, like, oh, I have to go again. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the other thing. Like, like you actually spend some time with, with the with the patient. Um, the other patient is like, but but. Yeah, the doctors mean yeah. Just leave. Yeah. yeah. So I try to put my heart and soul in this because I think this is I'm doing it for a higher reason. I like to change people's lives, and I like to give them the the tools to take that and run with it. So. 
<laughs> Look at how close you are. <laughs> okay. Close and personal. Close and personal, exactly. The trick with him is that you have to put him in an extension more because his atlas is a little bit hidden under here. You have to come way back. That's the angle of attack. Wow. You can see it better than this morning, right? Whoa. So, um, wonderful to meet this guy. We had a lot of fun. We talked probably way more than we should have about other shit that we shouldn't have talked about. But it still was fun. That's fun. Yeah. Anyway, Thanks nice so much. to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you guys enjoy that. See you next time.